Can I ask who you're looking for? Oh, it's all right. I've already seen him. Uh, Kevin! Uh, could I have a quick word? Um, are you a relative? Oh, I'm a friend of Mrs Webster's. It's bad news, I'm afraid. <laughs> hey, hope oh, you're not going dressed like that. Going where? I suppose I'd better buy everyone a drink. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Going where? Look, I forgot. I promised I'd take Leanne Club in tonight. There's an all-nighter on at Fresh or something. No problem. Are you sure? Blow her out. No, 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 I can't. Of course you can. Tell her you promised your dad you'd take me home, that you've got work to do. Tell her you've got some figures to look at. I'll see what she says. Usual, is it? Um, yeah, for them. Three bottles of lager, nothing for Linda or me. Oh, are you saving yourself for tonight? <laughs> I, uh, wanted to talk to you about that. Oh, Mark, we're looking forward to this whole week. Well, yeah, so have I. Well, come then. I'm going to be up till all hours as it is. Yeah, but it's ages since we had a proper night out. I can't. I'm sorry. All right, then we'll at least stay and have a drink. I promised my dad I'd drive Linda home. You want to learn how to say no before I to? <sighs> to my dad. It's easier said than done. <laughs> well, you have enough practice with me. Sorted? Mm. Good. Where are you taking me, then? <sighs> Keep your voice down, will you? Hey, I've had a brainwave. Take me to Fresh instead. Shh! You? Fancy some action. Tonight? Yeah, come on, while the cat's away. Mark, the only club your dad takes me to is the golf club. Well, it could be worse. Could be staying in washing his hair. <laughs> hey, me and Bobby are going out after work. We'll end up at Fresh. Come with us if you want. Are you sure? Yeah, you want the best time with us anyway. <laughs> yes, Kay. You want to call her Brittany? Well, Candice really likes it as well. Oh, and Candice has got such good taste. She talked you into getting her ears pierced yet? Well, we'll talk about it later. You've got another visitor. Hi, Ailey. Hi, I didn't know you were coming round. Um, you all right? <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't want to spoil things no, for what you. what is it? I've just seen one at Midwives. It's little Jim Webster. He's died. All I ever wanted. A baby. My baby. A son. I know. And you, you hold him in your arms and you see him breathing. <laughs> and then he's gone. Oh, please. Having second thoughts. What about tonight? Yeah, I might just have a pampering night, you know, hot soak in the bath, face pack on. Toast your tootsies by the fire. <laughs> You're losing it, mate. Oh, don't say that. Oh, no, I'm only joking. Maybe next time, mate. Yeah, that'd be good to have. <laughs> All right, Haley, what can I get you? Hey, Haley. Hi, Hi Haley. Um, I'll have a brandy, please, Jean. <laughs> oh, I'll tell Ryan about you. <laughs> I've just come back from the hospital. Maternity. Haley, what is it? What's happened? No, They've no, lost the no, baby. No. <laughs> Some sort of infection. He died this afternoon. Oh, poor, poor girl. So horrible. I keep thinking about it. <coughs> try not to think about it. How can I? Well, try not to let it upset you. Should I go and see her? And say what? I don't know how sorry I am. No. Not yet. I mean, it could have been me, it could have been Brittany. Sarah, don't say that, please. Your baby's happy and healthy. You just concentrate on that. You'll get a chance to talk to Alison. Not just yet, eh? I'll be in first thing tomorrow morning with David. You get some sleep mm. and try not to worry, eh? You just thank God your little girl's all right. Oh, my little papa, eh? You're my little papa. Oh. 
secret. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. We're all right, aren't we? Yeah, you're me. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, little bubble. How are you doing? You won't stop crying. Neither would I. She can't sleep. Can you give her something? We don't encourage night sedation. It's better if she lets it all out. She's got to grieve. You both have. She's shattered. So are you. Have they brought your bed? We've got camp beds for partners who want to stay over. We can do our bit. Really, you need each other when you've lost a child. I'll get a bed sent up. I haven't got anything. I've not got clean clothes out. Pop home and get a few bits. If you want. Fresh air might do you good. She'd be all right. We'll keep an eye on her. In fact, yeah. You'll be back before she knows it. I'll see you in a bit. I won't be long. You've still got me. You know that, don't you? Hey, who'd have thought it? Linda strikes it an all-nighter. What am I, anyway? Granny Grunt? <laughs> yeah, well, just a word of warning. It's not dancing around your handbag and I'm off. We're not in the Ritzy and it's not 1995, I'll OK? I'll give you such a dig in a minute. If it all gets a bit much for you, just saying I'll find you a seat, yeah? I'd outlast you, mate. Oh, we'll see. What are you having? Better make it a bottle of milk stout. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say I'm pregnant. I oh, believe it, oh. Thank you, chick. Oh, hey, great night this is going to be. No, I'm ready for my bed. Well, remember, I've got keys. Look, it's all right for you. You can have a kick when you get home. I'm going to be nodding off on the machine. Oh, my scene's going to be all skew with. <laughs> no change there, then. Hey, <gasps> stop this. I've got root men's. We can watch dog for No, Charles. Look, if you're not back in half now, I'm going to send out a search party. Mm -hmm. Come in. All right, all right. Kevin, come in. Is, uh, is Sally there? She's in bed. Who is it? Sal? Come on for some clothes. Come on through. Stick the kettle on, Danny. It's a bit late for wetting the baby's head, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Kev, what's up? Oh, we've got left. What? Photos. It's all we've got left of him. Six bloody weeks in here and I've had enough. What are you doing? Will you open the door, please? I want to go home. I want the radio on, a long soak in the bath and no horrible smell of bleach. And then I'm going to snuggle up in my own bed. It's not a good idea to be going home at this hour. I dreamt he was still alive. I was giving him his bottle and Kevin was laughing because he wolfed the lot. And then when I woke up, the first thing I looked for was his cot. And then 
I want Kevin. Where is he? He's nipped home to get some clothes, that's all. He'll be back soon. I know he thinks it's my fault, but I didn't know. Of course he doesn't think it's your fault. <coughs> Will it be like this every day? Waking up, thinking he's still here. Saying there's a good crowd in tonight. Uh, this is Jess. She's a student. Yeah, I have to watch him with students, don't I, Mike? He likes to wind me up by slumming it from time to time, but he knows it just drives me crazy. Really? <laughs> Looks like butter wouldn't melt, doesn't it? Mm. Such a tease. I could think of better words. Oh, we were only talking. That mouth is wasted on talking. So Have you buzzed for the midwife? Yeah, ages ago. She just told me to change a nappy. Should have seen the look she gave me. <laughs> Should have seen the look she gave us when we both came in. She at least said two words to us, and one of them was shush. When was the last time you gave her a feed? I've been feeding her all night. Every time I put her down, she just cries to be fed again, don't you? Yeah. What? Shall I? Are you sure? Ooh. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, darling. Shh. Oh, shh. I tried that, but oh, she's just so small. I'm scared I'm going to hurt her. Oh, have you got a windy tummy, darling? Oh, little darling. Shh. Oh, shh. There's no sign of her. Maybe she didn't see. Oh, she saw all right. She'd have come over. Unless she's gone running off to tell her mates. This will be the best bit of gossip Bobby's had in years. What are we going to do? I mean, I can sack Bobby fine, but Gina, she serves my dad every day. Just calm down, will you? I think I'm going to be sick. Just slow down, Mark. There she is. Wait, what are you going to say to her? Well, I don't know. I'll say some bloke was coming on to you and I was pretending to be your boyfriend. I'll say you had a row with my dad. Just stay here. What? You're saying nothing. Stay here. Gina? Hiya. Look, it's none of my business, all right? I'm 
sorry about what happened. It doesn't seem fair. You wanted him so much and look at me. Don't ever say that again. You've got a beautiful baby girl. Just be grateful. I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I know that I'm lucky, it's just she's not. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I thought babies were supposed to sleep all the time and all she ever does is cry. And I tried to feed her and she just sticks it back up and then I tried to change a nappy and all she does is scream. You just got to try your best. It, it just takes time. <laughs> she hates me. She's soaked through. She can't be. I can't feel. Tonight. I just wish that she'd go to sleep for an hour. Is there stuff in here? Half an hour. Knock. Can you go, darling? Shh. Shall I see to her? You look worn out. I don't know who would have made a better mother. She was born for it. They could have prevented it as well. Had they known at the time. They told us. One big shot of antibiotics during labour. And... Poor little mate. If you'd seen him, Sam. You can't really see his face on this picture, but... He's got all this hair and... Feet like canoes. He'd never have played for City, he was perfect. You know, you build yourself up. You have all these feelings swimming around inside you. And then he's gone. And you just don't know where to put him. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with all that love? I said I'd get straight back. Well, if the Alison's a fat out, she won't know any difference. Yeah. At least lie down and have a rest. Mommy, sorry, this isn't a proper bed. Will you do me a favour, Sal? Will you tell the kids tomorrow? I can't face doing that. I know, of course I'll tell them. It's going to be awful. What are you doing? I'm phoning the hospital. Check everything's all right. They'd phone you, Kevin, surely, if they had a problem. Mike, great. I was dead happy. I couldn't believe my luck. 
and then Mark came along. And he's got all the things I love about Mike. Do you think that's sick? Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. He's a Baldwin, but he's wide-eyed, up for it. Takes life by the throat. Yeah, I can see that. This isn't easy. Yeah, and it's not going to get any easier. We're trapped. All three of us. Four. You're forgetting. Leanne's a mate of mine. What's up? Are you scared he's going to put his foot in it? He already has. He was supposed to finish with her tonight. He should be getting back to the hospital. Yeah, but if he's sleeping, it's because he needs it. What he doesn't need is the kids bouncing in there because we haven't had a chance to tell them what happened. No. I'll give him a knock because he wants a cup of tea. both ways, doesn't it? You could blow the whistle on us. Boss is privileged, though, isn't it? They can tell as many lies as they like and you've still got to believe them. What are you doing here, anyway? Didn't think clubbing was your scene. Wouldn't you want to break if you lived with Mike Baldwin? Hey, that's his dad you're talking about. Oh, he doesn't mind, do you, Mark? Text Mick himself sometimes, don't you? Sir, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I've um, had a good couple of hours. Um, I'm really sorry about... Yeah, thanks. She was really lovely to me last night. Who? Alison, um, I was in the right state, so she took the baby for a couple of hours so I could get some rest. Where is she? I made these, and I made the cushion cover, and the cot bumper, so that he wouldn't bang his little head. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> and his daddy bought him this. I wanted the one in yellow, but his daddy thought that one played a better tune. Nothing to do with the fact that it was in blue. <laughs> he always wanted a boy. Always. So, you don't want to hear about that, do you? You want your bottle. Come on then, Let's see how this is. Let's wipe that up, darling. What was she wearing? I don't know, um, not pyjamas, I think jogging bottoms, um, jumper, a t-shirt, something like that. She um, told me she couldn't sleep. There's no coat in here and no shoes. What are you trying to say? Julie, check the toilets and the bathrooms. Well, she must be around here somewhere, mustn't she? I mean, there's no for her to go. I'm going to have to call security. Hang on. I'm taking no chances, Kevin. Hello? Mm-hmm. Yep. You what? Yeah, all right. We'll be right there. Gail? Paul. Kevin, this is Paul Birch. Chief Exec of the Hospital Trust. Have you been kept up to speed? Oh, no. Well, the police have been informed and they're starting the usual inquiries, but they're also suggesting that we put together a regional TV and radio appeal. Ideally, it'll carry a photo of your wife. God. You're being a bit quick to point the finger, aren't you? We've got a newborn baby who's going to need feeding soon. We also have a bereaved mother who should be in bed. This was at 4.46 this morning. Sister Mooney identified your wife. I asked him to give her something. Help make her sleep. We didn't think sedation was the answer. It's much better for her to grieve. 
You're going to tell that to police? Not a witch hunt, Mr. Webster. We're concerned for the safety of them both. Oh, you are. He wasn't at 446. Hello, Tyro. Oh, I'll with that. Oh, I would. Thanks very much, love. Oh, that's great. Oh. Martin, wait! Tyrone! Will you ship that flaming dog? No need for that. Just get there, Martin. What's going on? Not brilliant. Probably a bit small. Nah, it's fine. How recent is it? New Year. But hair's still the same and everything. Get it was circular to Willie Glenn. So, you left her at what time? One. Ah, uh, one, I, uh, I waited till she was asleep. Just prior to that, how did she seem? Our baby had just died. She wasn't doing cartwheels. Some women become very introverted. Can hardly even cry. Others get angry, hysterical even. There isn't a standard reaction. She seemed in shock. She was crying a lot. She, she wasn't shouting. She's not that sort of person. Where will she have gone? Any ideas? Was doing that, I didn't. Being cooped up in here, she just... She just wanted to get home. That'd be the last place she'd go, wouldn't it? If she knew the police was after her. If she was thinking clearly, no, she wouldn't. But if she's convinced herself this is her baby, there's no reason why she wouldn't take her home. She knows our baby's dead. She saw him. She held him. She knows our baby's a boy. This is a very instinctive time. Despite everything you've said, the urge to look after a child, to hold a child, will be incredibly strong. Glenn, will you take Mr. Webster... Kevin! Will you take Kevin home? If Alison's there, great. If not, have a good scout run for any signs that she's been back. Clean clothes taken, credit cards, cash missing, whatever. Any more thoughts? Get Glenn to ring me straight away. The sooner we find her, the better. She's lost some blood. She'll be feeling very weak by now. And the tardier she is, the more distressed she's likely to become. Martin Gale. Right. She'll be OK. I'm sure she will. Blimey, does the hospital know about this? Are we the last to know? Certainly looks like it. Oh, Kev. We heard about Jake. I'm so sorry. I was Alison. When you're ready. She's missing. What, as well? Thank God. Is it her? She wouldn't hurt a baby. Believe me, it was... It was losing Jake. She won't hurt anyone. I hope to God you're right, Kevin. Go on. It's very hard to hide with a baby. Even harder with half of Weatherfield on your case. Will it be on the news? Regional news at first, yeah. You'll know how stupid I am. They'll all be on your side. If we're lucky, we'll make the 8 o'clock bulletin catch people on the way to work. It's a good time. Sarah! <laughs> is someone going to tell me what's going on? This is Detective Inspector Tyler, uh, Sarah Louise's parents, obviously. Martin's a charge nurse here. You've never even heard of me till now. Are you Martin me? Sorry. I'm Paul Birch, Chief Executive. And if you're expecting me to hush this one up for the sake of the trust, you've got another thing coming. Cos if anything goes wrong here, anything, I'm going to blow their gaff on you, pal. Oh, big time! Do you mind if I join you, Ken? Oh, well, please do, please do. Do you know, I must stop walking past this place first thing. It doesn't matter how many bowls of birdseed that I have at home, if the wind's in the wrong direction, they'll whiff a bacon. Oh! <laughs> and the next thing you know, you've eaten half a pig. Yes, yes I know! <laughs> so tempting, aren't you? <laughs> hey, hey, do you mind? Shh, you 
Listen. Ooh. Description of the woman they believe is holding the baby. She's a 28-year-old local woman, Alison Webster, medium height with shoulder-length brown hair. Police have appealed to friends, neighbors, and colleagues to call them immediately if Mrs. Webster tries to make contact or tries to pass the baby off as her own. Next, local traders at the Albert Street indoor market. You okay? I mean, Alison, whatever possessed her? Well, it must be the upset over Jake. Yeah, no doubt about it. You're not worried, are you? No. I mean, surely Gail would have rung it. Yes, of course her. she would. What do you mean? What upset? Thought you were still in hospital. How is it? I can't make you stay. It's not like we're sick. Well, you will be if you sit there much longer. You'll freeze. Where's Kev? We never picked the pram up from the shop. It's bad luck, see? Uh, so he's gone to the car? And I went a bit wobbly and I, I didn't know how far I'd come. You're not on your own, are you? Will you get her away, Tyrone? Oh, it's all right. I mean it. Oh, no, she's fine. She's dead gentle. She won't hurt you. Come on, let's get you home. Well, I'll walk back with you if you like. No. Safe and warm. You need your bottle, don't you? Well, let us have a look at him then. I've not seen him yet. <coughs> well, uh, make sure you get home, all right? We've only known her five minutes. How can you be so sure she won't spill the beans to Dad or anyone else for that matter? All Jean is concerned about is Leanne. And anyway, she's sussed that it's just the three of us in the know. So if the word did get round the factory, it's obvious where it came from, isn't it? And I'll sack her, mate. Getting ruthless in your old age, you. Still, I'm glad she's gonna need to be to dump Leanne. Sorry? Sorry, did I not mention that? Well, why? Leanne's a nice girl. I mean, you know what I mean. Maybe she deserves a nice boyfriend. I suppose I asked for that. Think about it, Mark. She's Gina's pal, isn't she, and you're messing her around. It's no skin off my nose, but we have to keep Gina sweet, don't we? It doesn't look like she's been back. Her clothes, the baby things are still where they was. Check the phone. <sighs> There's no messages. Well, then we'd better start thinking where else she might be. What about family? Parents? Brothers and sisters? No, she was an only child. And I won't bother with her mum and dad. They had a row ages ago. They didn't even know she was pregnant. Well, all the more reason why she might go to them. She could pass the baby off as her own. She wouldn't. I know her, she hates them. We still need an address. <sighs> oh, Kilway. Um, Benson Street. I'll, I need to look the number up. Who are you? Who are you? I asked first. Tyrone Dobbs is a uh, Kev. Your door's open. Look, if it's the garage, see Jim. No, it's Alison, actually. She all right, because she didn't see me. When? Where? This morning on the Red Rat. She not come home? John, we've had a confirmed sighting. Did she have the baby with her? Yeah. The Red Rat. Come on. Show me. Come on. <laughs> Say exactly think. I've told you she said she felt a bit wobbly and uh, she hadn't realised how far she'd walked. Yeah, well, she's probably walked a lot further by now. She was on about bad luck as well. Something about you hadn't picked a pram up from a baby shop. The baby shop? Eh? The baby shop on Drummond Street. Got a few things put aside there. Pram. Car seat and that. And you think she could be there? I don't know, do I? But it's worth a try, innit? There's only two reasons your fella shows up on your doorstep first thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's either scrounging for Dosh, or he's giving you the push. I'll take it you're all right for cash, then. I'm her grandmother. Her grandmother's inside. Mrs. Platt's with her daughter now. Oh, stop spitting hairs. Her great-grandmother, then. Man, what are you 
doing here? Look, I want to know what's going on. I have to hear it on the radio. Is Sarah all right? We rang you. Well, not very hard, obviously. It was early! But not too early to get Sally Webster out of bed. I mean, the baby has disappeared with a woman that is clearly deranged. No, she's grieving. Well, deranged with grief, then. Alison's great with the baby. She wouldn't harm her. Sweetheart, you are hardly more than a baby yourself. What's that supposed to mean? Well, how do you know what she's thinking? Oh, right, that's it. Come on, out! But John, can you come through? I'm not having you upsetting Sarah, so come on, get out! Martin, oh. just calm down. Oh, don't have a go at me. You know, this is typical. A terrible thing like this happens, and all she can think about is herself. Yeah, well, she has got a name, actually. So what were you thinking, eh? Silly old Audrey can't be trusted. She'll only be under our feet. Mum, there wasn't a plot. We tried to ring you. There was no reply. We rang you at the salon. There was no reply. Yeah, all right. Well, I went and had breakfast in the cafe, didn't I? And jolly good job I did. Otherwise, I'd have been chatting about rinses while the police were dredging the canal. Oh, see! There she goes again! Can you just think before you open your mouth for oh, once oh, in your oh, life? Oh, shut, shut up! Please! What's going on? Oh, ask her. Oh, forget it, Gail. You sort it, eh? Are you all right, Sarah? I do know Alison, and she'll be fine. And Brittany will be fine, just as long as you don't scare her. We won't. It doesn't get you anywhere. Hear that? Sweetheart. I'm sorry. Oh, I am so sorry. Come here. Are you happy now? What's up? Nothing. Oh, that. Mark just binned me. Oh, Leanne, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault, is it? Well, were you expecting it? No. Well, maybe I should have been. It's been a bit off lately. No, not off, just... Not there, do you know what I mean? <laughs> what, like typical male behaviour? Yeah, right. That was his novelty, I think. He's a bit rough. Hey, don't put yourself down. <laughs> it's true. You should see the girls he normally goes for. Big brains, big teeth, big bank balances, no personality. His last girlfriend, oh, Claire, limp as a vicar's handshake, as my dad would say. <laughs> well, I think he got off lightly, then. Hey, so did he. If it had really liked him, he would have been dead by now for chucking me like that. Sir. I'll go with you. Oh, oh, please. Just give me a few minutes. You'll only scare her. Trust me. I only want to talk to her. Hmm. Which one's your favourite? The toy toys? Are you sure? I don't like the lion. Yes. Being old. Look at me. I'm like a creaking gate. Alison. What are you doing? She likes a pram, don't you? Doesn't matter. Can't get anything right, can I? Would have to be me, wouldn't it? Me with a bloody infection. I I'm starting to think the green one's nicer. We can't keep kidding ourselves, love. We're not going to need one. I know that, Kevin. But I still feel like a mother. My body still thinks I'm a mother. They've got tablets for that. They dry up your milk. By this time tomorrow, it'll be gone. I'm like he never existed. No news is good news. Sorry. I give kids in it. Chocolate. Oh, um, thanks. Okay. Thanks. Martin. Sorry. 
Well, let's forget it, shall we? Right, well, uh, I'll wander up to the staff room. See if there's been anything on the news. Stop blaming yourself. You weren't to know. She asked me if um, she could take her. Oh, listen, I mean, I was just so tired that I didn't even care about going and getting her back. Well, that's kids for you. Push you to the edge. <sighs> Don't stop you loving her. I mean it. You trusted Alison. Anybody would have done the same. <sighs> you want to know she'd do something mad. <clears throat> it's not the word I'd use. Oh, well, at least she cares. You care. Yeah, about myself. When I came here, I just kept worrying about how all the people in the hospital kept looking at me like I was a right little slapper. Or then about school and how I was going to get loads of stick. Or nights out, I was going to miss all boyfriends. I mean, who wants a girlfriend stuck with a kid? And it was all because of her. It's not very nice. Yeah, I know. I, I just wanted to be like everyone else. So what are you saying, lover? I can't be. Not now. And if something happens to my baby and I'm never even able to see her again, then I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't think I can stand it. It's not her fault. No, love. She didn't ask to be born into any of this. I just want to be able to hold her and tell her how much I love her and how safe she is. <sighs> now there's devotion for you. That meant to be a dig? No. There's no need to snap. I will be a sec. It's just, uh, just a bit early for visiting, that's all. Thought maybe you'd pulled a few strings. There's no point. Well, there's no one to visit. All oh, right, they discharged her already. Not officially, no. The baby's been snatched. That's Sarah's baby. Yeah, by my best mate's wife. So I'm sorry. Only I've had better days. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? Not really, no. I better be getting back. All right, then. Well, um, let me know if you hear anything, if you can uh, spare the time. I put you down that corridor, away from all the babies, from all the mothers, cos you're not one anymore. But you can still hear them cry. Do you know what Sarah Louise said to me? She said she'd give anything for a couple of hours sleep. She hasn't got a clue. She doesn't even know how to wind her. She's just a kid herself. She's got long fingers. Jake had short stubby ones like me, remember? And when you hold on to her, she snuggles right into you. All those things you feel about Jake. That's what Sarah Louise is going through now. She's terrified she won't see a baby again. What does she think I'm going to do? She doesn't know. She's just imagining the worst. Look, we've got to get her back. Here, give your arm a rest. I can't. Get me in there. If I give her back, it's all over. Yeah, all right, John. No. No lights, no sirens. Hey, just give me a few more minutes. I understand what you're feeling. It's my son, too. It's not the same, Kevin. I'm sorry, but it's not. I carried Jake. 
I felt every kick, every hiccup. If you take her... I've got to take her. She's not ours. I'll have nothing. You'll still have me. If you're feeling up to it, we can try again. Not rush anything. I couldn't face it. Walking out of that hospital with empty arms. Walking down the street, no one knowing I was a mother. I would have been a good mum. A million times better than my own. You still can be. I was just trying to help. She looked so upset. Sarah Louise, exhausted. I thought if I took her. The moment I had her in my arms, I, I knew half an hour was never going to be enough. And then the door was open and this feeling bubbled up inside me. And the, and the next thing I know, I'm walking out. I'm walking fast, waiting for somebody to grab me, but nobody did. I would have been a good mom. We can get through this. Nah. It'll all come out about Cheryl. My mum and dad will see to that. They'll lock me up. He was upset. He was depressed. It's just me, Kevin. It's all wrong. I, I take one step forward and two steps back. There's no point anymore. People don't want to listen. See? Give her to me. I listen. Don't wake her. She's comfy as she is. They'll, they'll see that I looked after her. Of course they will. They'll understand. Get! Mm -hmm. I said! <laughs> 